UF health officials just finished an update on where we stand in this pandemic. They talked about local cases and also children who are sick. Wrapping up a teleconference with local politicians, giving them an update as well. News for Jack's reporter Jim Pickett was on that call, joining us live in the newsroom. Jim. You know, there was a lot of information there. At UF Health, here's what we just learned. 127 people are in the hospital with COVID, 44 in the ICU. Well, while those numbers appear to be coming down, ICUs are still crowded. They're about 75% full. Here's what the head of the hospital, the new CEO, is saying. We're better than a few weeks ago, but our cases remain steady and are not declining. We're hopeful that we don't get another surge following the holiday. But they also talked a lot about kids and what's happening there. Dr. Rathora is a, is a pediatrician with UF Health and also at Wilson's Children's Hospital. He works both places. He confirmed today that the death of that teenager in St. John's County recently was the result of COVID. He says some kids are getting very sick. To give you an update, right now there are 14 kids at Wilson's Children's Hospital. Five are in the ICU. Kids do get sick. Kids, kids do get hospitalized. Kids do get sick and go to the ICU, get intubated, be on a ventilator, and even be on ECMO, which is a heart-lung machine. That's our, sort of our last-ditch effort to support these children. And unfortunately, children do die. In fact, many of you probably heard the news. There's a 17-year-old who died in St. John's County uh, just in the last few days. So I think we have to be very sure and understand that kids can get serious illness. And I can tell you that uh, in the uh, almost 18 months ending in, uh, uh, in June, we had uh, three deaths in our area in children. That's one death every six months. And just in July and August, we had four deaths in children. So there's two deaths a month. A lot, of, a lot of people are concerned when they hear about children dying with COVID. More information they released, we're working on that, and we're going to gather that for you and have more for you today at 5 and 6. For now, I'm live in the newsroom. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station. All right, Jim.